everybody welcome back check this out we are repairing this snowblower for a poor running condition this unit this Honda unit would only run on full choke take the choke off the engine would die right away anything three quarters or less of choke engine stalling out so what do you got you got a fuel flow problem into the engine so one of your jets is plugged or the only jet which is inside this port right here you got to unscrew it take it out clean it up you're not getting proper fuel flow through that jet that's in here into the engine we're gonna reverse we're gonna reverse this one we're actually gonna show you how to install it real quickly and what to do so there's the needle jet right there fuel bowl fuel bowl nut there's another actual little fuel bowl area uh, right here that one and the fuel float what do you need 10 millimeter quarter inch drive extension ratchet two screwdrivers one two one thin head very narrow head one a little bit thicker this one here to drain your fuel catch your fuel in a little container this one here is what we use to remove that needle jet because you need to get the screwdriver hang on a second I'm gonna drop this here real quickly you need to get the screwdriver into here and is that as you can see there we go a little closer as you can see how thin that is you cannot get a thick screwdriver in here, and it's a standard one in order to pull out that needle jet that did jet and here it is pretty darn small isn't it I thought my camera shut off but there it is and this thing has never been out and I damaged the end of it a little bit I kind of scuffed it a bit and it's kind of hard to tell but you got to get fuel through let's see if I can actually get some light through this thing here it's kind of hard to tell but I got it out it was plugged definitely dirty and we're gonna show you how to put this back into there and get this thing running now just I'm gonna put this back down on my little my little mat as you can see I got all my stuff laid out nicely here so I don't lose anything I used a little bit of air pressure I just went inside here just to blow it out a bit and then I gave it a little shot up there and then this is where the float sits did that as well nice and clean in here nice and clean inside the bowl no I wouldn't say nice and clean actually I'm gonna re-clean that I thought I did a much better job than that you see those little particles way in the bottom by that screw yeah we're gonna clean that we're gonna clean that right now actually we're gonna re we're gonna re-clean that float inside the secondary one actually we can put this one on right now this one there's an o-ring inside o-ring gasket up inside there take this cleaned it out that's a 10 mil grab your quarter inch drive i'm holding the camera and working at the same time tight done so this is the reverse of it I'm showing you how to install everything I'm gonna see if I can just put my camera down here and get a proper good angle for you because I do need I do need two hands here real quickly I've already cleaned out this jet. Let's take, and I got a crossbar here as well, so you gotta just kinda take your time. Nice and easy. Pop that inside. And see how far up it goes? Yeah. I'm just gonna screw it all the way in there. And then you're going to just 
kind of hand tighten it. That's it. But you can see the depths of it up inside there. Good. Good to go. I need to get my rag here. I'm going to clean the inside of my fuel bowl here again, just while we're talking. And the float. See that little needle right there? That's what allows your fuel to come in and out. There's a little base spring on there. So all you're going to do is take this, slide this back up inside there. Pop that into there. And then there's your little, don't lose, don't, don't lose that little rod. Yeah, I know this is a bit tough to see. Got to kind of line it up. And that is not correct. A little too low. Hmm. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh. And as you can see, it drops down, it allows fuel in, fuel comes in, float bowl goes up, shuts off the needle valve right there. You use a little bit of fuel, drops down. Make sure that that is, oh, you see this? The pin's falling out because I keep doing that. See how that pin just fits and slides in there? There we go. There's that. This will solve my situation of it running incorrectly. Fuel bowl is clean. That's your fuel drain right there. Your gasket is in place up there, your O-ring. Put that back into place. Take your little bolt. Gasket is on the bolt. That's your fuel bowl. Always start your nuts and your bolts by hand so you don't cross thread anything. You definitely don't want to do that. Take your 10 millimeter quarter inch drive. There you go, that's done. This is already tight, that's my drain, but I'm gonna check it again anyway. It is. I'm gonna check this one here as well while I'm here, camera's rolling. That's good, that's good. Fuel shut off, that's my spark plug access, my little cover. Actually goes this way. Up. And there we go. We're gonna turn the fuel on. We're gonna pop this thing down. And I do have fresh fuel in there. Let's see what it does. Oh, that's noisy. Again, if you have a poor running condition and your vehicle, your engine only runs on full throttle, sorry, full choke, I should say. Here's my choke on. Now, there is no prime on this. Well, let's just see what this thing does. I'm, I got my fingers crossed. But that jet, that needle jet was plugged up. Make sure I don't have any gas or flammables around here, which I have my little catch can. Move that off to the side. Okay, there you go. That was literally a 20 minute job. I didn't have to pull the carburetor apart, didn't have to take it off the vehicle. All that I did was drop the fuel bowl, drain the fuel, drop the fuel bowl, right? Do that. Clean your fuel bowl out. 
find your proper flathead screwdriver, get inside, remove that jet, get it down, you're gonna look through it. It is literally a pinhole that allows fuel to go in. Now you notice when it started, I had it on full choke, kind of sputtered a bit, that's okay. As I took the choke down, the engine started to smooth out. As I took the choke totally off, the engine's running fine, 100%. I'm gonna let this thing run for about five minutes, and I'm gonna do an oil change on it. That's it, questions, comments, likes. That'll work on 99% of all carbureted garden and lawn care stuff. From weed whackers to snow blowers to lawn mowers, all that fun stuff. Questions, comments, leave them. One last thing to show you. I'm walking outside. What's that? <laughs>